It's the first week of October, and you know what that means. Fall foliage, pumpkin spice lattes, and midweek Sunbelt Conference action on ESPN2. Arkansas State and Georgia Southern getting set to tangle for the first time. Kendall Sanders and Daryl Rollins Davis back for the Arkansas State Red Wolves. And we are underway. And like we said, both of these kickers for Georgia Southern have a boot, and he puts it through the back of the end zone. So Arkansas is there. Go ahead and deliver the football. Hanson in the shotgun. Warren Wand will be your lone tailback. They need to get the running game going. They've said that, and they start right off throwing the football, and it's complete that time. Hanson finding Chris Murray all the way inside of Georgia Southern territory. This is a guy they've got to get going in Chris Murray. Well, there it is. Coaches yesterday. As they can. Back to pass again. Hanson this time going on to the outside, finding Wand, who was in motion out of the backfield. He'll pick up another first down. Letting him make some guys miss. Trying to keep the speed up. Again, the play action. Back to pass. Hanson, the quick screen pass again, this time to Wand, using his backfield, using his running back. Offense comfortable with these throws is a beautiful start here for Hanson. This time the handoff to Wand around the left side. Makes a move, and he's inside the 20. Another move before being brought down for another first down. May have fumbled the football. And he did. He put the ball on the carpet, and Logan Hunt recovered for Georgia Southern, so a big mistake after a great drive. Yeah, it really was, and they get the ball into the hands of the guy they won, and that's Warren Wand, all five foot five of him, but here you go, right there at that point, Chris, you got to put that ball away. You see these runners always struggling to get one more yard, go down right there, and they had a beautiful start to this game. Now the ball, and here we go, starting off the game with a great drive, and here we go, already in the first series, turn the ball back over to Georgia Southern. After they didn't turn it over in their first two games at all, seven in the last two, as you mentioned. Kevin Ellison is your star. Unfold. Ellison in the gun. Quick pitch out to Matt Breida along the right side. He's got some room. Closed down quickly by that defense. So a gain of about four yards. Both Centimore with the tackle. Ellison in the gun. Empty backfield. Five receivers. Georgia Southern's going to throw all kinds of different wrinkles at you. The design quarterback draw. Ellison, can he get to the first down? Fighting his way. And it looks like he's going to come up a yard short. Defense is very fast on the back end. Great job forcing the punt there. Matt Flynn back to punt for Georgia Southern. Cameron Eccles Looper, the transfer from TCU, back to field it for Arkansas State. Fair catch, and that's where the Red Wolves will take over. That they've been winning ever since. Arkansas State taking over now on their own 37-yard line. Johnson White, the tailback, and he got a fumble. Unfortunately uh, for Georgia Southern, unfortunately he got a whistle beforehand. It's going to be a turnover. Chris De La Rosa with the turnover. Yeah, and just some sort of... What happened here? Yeah, as the running back was coming across there, got the inflicted mistakes there, makes it tough. Ellison back at quarterback, faking it to the right this time, the option to the left, and Brita carrying it for a gain of about four yards. Three bow injury, but getting the start and getting the uh, first two series here, keeping it after the belly fake and takes it for another three yards. It'll be third down for Georgia Southern. Kevin Ellis to the top of your screen up there. He seems to be the go-to guy. Third down and three, and this time they're going up to the top. This time, what a defensive play. Monte Crockett was the receiver, and unfortunately for Defense, the the number 29, 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down, in addition to the pass interference, ineligible man downfield, offense, number 60. Change. Those fouls offset, replay, third down. <laughs> You've seen it more and more lately. All right, another big third down after the offsetting penalty. Wesley Fields in the backfield. The option to the right. Ellison's going to keep it. He isn't going to get there, though. He's going to come up a couple of yards short. Xavier Woodson Luster again with the tackle. Fair. Counted off at three, and it looks like Tyson Summers at least is going to give the look that he's going to go for. It. Matt Breed in the backfield. Wesley Fields in motion. Breed around the right side. Oh, great tackle that time. Chris Humes making the tackle. It may have saved the Taking over, trying to get something going like they did in their first drive of the game when they moved it down deep in the Georgia Southern Territory. The fake now with a handoff to Johnston White along the right side. 
He's got a nice little gain of about eight yards up to the 28-yard line. And that's what that's what they need, Chris. They got to get this run. Cannot they don't have the players, don't have the offensive line to run that thing up the middle, get the ball to the perimeter. Nice job. White remains the tailback. He takes the handoff this time around the left side, looking for three or four yards, and he picks it up, so he gets the first down. Put the all Sun Belt guys on that offensive line. All of them returned from last year. They just got to get in rhythm. Empty backfield now. White quick drop, quick pass. And that was going to be ruled incomplete. Warren Wan, the diminutive Warren Wan, now back as the lone tailback. 5'5, 179. They fumble the ball on the mesh point again, and this is going to be a big loss. And, and Chris, this is what you don't want to see, especially coming off an extended break. They didn't play yet last Saturday. We talked about for Arkansas State. Hansen looking right, going left to Wan. A little screen, he'll pick up. Maybe a yard, that's going to bring up fourth down. Damon Fonchin will come back to punt now for Arkansas State. Rugby style. He said they were going to try a little bit of that, that this week, and not terribly ineffective that time. Georgia State ball at about their own 38-yard line. Uh, towards uh, doing what they did last year, and that's win every game in conference. That's what Blake Anderson said with that whole we're restarting the season. We don't want to carry that baggage from the first part into the la into the second part of the season here. So far, starting off pretty good. Georgia Southern takes over again with Kevin Ellison at quarterback. Started the game. He's still in there now. Fake to Ramsby, and he gets level. And that's going to be a penalty right there. That's going to draw the flag. The play. Holding offense number 60. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 27. Those fouls offset, replay first down. The previous play is under further review. And remember, once he gives himself up, then it becomes an issue of, is it forcible contact to the head or neck area on the quarter? To the head area. After further, after further, after further review, there is no targeting. Now penalized, holding offense number 60, 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay, first down. Utah State losing money. Little Hunter, one contact. of their best defenders, yeah. is going to end up being a, a great play for him because now the 10 yards holding against Georgia Southern is marched off. Wesley Fields now in the backfield for the Eagles. On the option, Fields is going to take it along the right side. And he's going to get close to at least getting much of that holding penalty. Back. Bring different things to the table. Fields is more of the hybrid between the two of them, if you will. Fake to the left, option to the right. Back to Fields again. And he'll get banged out of bounds after a gain of a couple. Money Hunter again with the stop. I'll tell you what, Chris, I'm impressed. Miles Campbell in motion. Ellison back to pass, looking downfield. He's got a man open, and he can't come up with it. Malik Henry had it in his hands and let it go. That'd have been a big play for the Eagles. And nothing but space and opportunity there for Malik. Matt Flynn will let it fly for Georgia Southern. Blaze Taylor deep for the Red Wolves. Taylor calls for the fair catch and makes it at his own 21. Someone's going to break through here eventually, Rock. Daryl Rollins Davis, the speedster at tailback. The fake and... Hansen keeps it, gets about four yards. Now that's something we don't see just keep that ball a little bit more. We saw it there. Hansen going up top, and his receiver looked like he didn't even see it. Chris De La Rosa right now. Quint, what do you got? Well, some big boys there, Quint. Well, that's what we talked about. That's why Arkansas State, they've had trouble running the ball this year. The last thing you want to do is when you're trying to get your run game going, try to run it into 600 pounds right there. Empty backfield now, five wide outs for Arkansas State. Third and six. Hanson back, shoulder throw, and can't hook up with Blake Mack. Going to bring up another. Back to receive, and if nothing else in this first quarter, these unreturned teams are getting a workout. Launch him the rugby style and watch out if you're a Georgia Southern player on that one. 
I haven't seen much offense from Georgia Southern today. They didn't have to pick up a first down. I mean, think about that. They've had opportunities, too, with two turnovers by Arkansas State. They haven't been able to cash in. Still Kevin Ellison at the helm, handing off to L.A. Ramsby up the middle. And he's got a seam, and he might take it to the house. They're not going to catch Ramsey. Didn't need a first down on that drive. Just 61 yards from the big back. Chris, that's been what this offense has missed all season. The big run here. They finally get it. Just a simple dive right up the middle. They've been going outside perimeter stuff. And then, boom, just hand it to L.A. Ramsby up the middle. Some nice blocking. And he, got, he has the speed to just take it all the way to the house. Young Way Koo lining up for the extra point. Even on their extra points, they have uh, interesting lineups. They always give you something to think about. Koo buries it, 7-0, Georgia Southern. So just Sanders, Daryl Rollins, Davis back to receive for Arkansas State. Rollins, Davis inside his own end zone. He Tries to find a little room outside the right side, and he does. Runs into his own blocker, but a nice little return. It looks like he might get stopped inside his own 20. Take hands of those playmakers. Warren Juan, the lone setback now for Arkansas State. Juan takes it along the right side. He has some room, too. And look at Juan showing his speed. Stays on his feet at midfield. The sun is supposed to look. Perimeter, perimeter, make one cut and go. Juan again, looks like a mirror image of that play on the right side. Has a lot of room inside the 40-yard line. This looks like the first drive of the game. Picking up first downs, they want to go tempo. They want to go quick. Johnston White in, now a tailback, replacing Juan, who had a couple of nice runs. Staying with White along the, or Johnston White along the left side. He picks up about two. And Chris, you mentioned the tempo. That's one thing this offense wants to do, but they haven't been Hanson out of the gun, looking downfield. He's got a man open, and he went to the, looked like he went to the, maybe the wrong receiver. That time we're going to get a flag, though. Dijon Pascal was streaking down the field, and Sean Freeman got there a little early. He had two receivers there on the left side. Yeah, and he wanted White out of the backfield. He, White actually fell down, so he had to go deep down there to Pascal. Defense, number 24. 15 yards in the previous spot, automatic. First down. Well, let's see. I'd like to see this offense get number 14, Chris Murray, involved. He's at the top of your screen. They're expecting big things out of him today. He went out early with a little bit of a shoulder ding. He's back in there. Juan now along the right side. Picked up maybe three yards, doing what they want to do, doing what they preach that they would do. Side again from that linebacker spot. Second down and eight now as Arkansas State tries to keep this drive alive. Hanson with the fake inside, ball tipped, almost picked off, was it? Yes, the officials say it was an interception. Joshua Moon took the tip and created the turnover, the third turnover of the game, and for the second time already in the first quarter, an Arkansas State drive is snuffed out by a turnover. And look at his league way, the linebacker, if you can't get yep. to the quarterback, next best thing is get those hands up in the air, a nice tip pass up in the air, the safety grabs it, and yet another turnover for Arkansas State. You're one of those tall linebackers like Aligwe is, he's 6'2". Now that's diminutive compared to you. And I want to make sure everybody <laughs> saw the top of the show knows. Central Arkansas clean up the turnover. Yeah, especially after they're moving the ball so well the way they are. Ellison back in the gun. Fields is lone set back and he'll get the carry, gain about five yards. Xavier Woodson Luster again on the stop. He's all over the place. Yeah. Breed in motion, handing off to Fields on the inside. He'll get a couple more. They bring him up a nice, a critical third down here for Georgia Southern. They don't want to be punting out of their own end zone. It's interesting that Georgia Southern. Third and four for Georgia Southern. Ellison in the gun, flanked by Wesley Fields. Breed in motion again. Ellison to pass. Going downfield and just overshoots B.J. Johnson, his big receiver. Look at good field position. Flag on the play. Ball start. Offense. Number 32. Five-yard penalty. 
Still fourth down. Longer break like they've had with you know having last Saturday off, some things can get out of rhythm. Flynn making sure he doesn't step on the end line. He's got room. Let it go from his own end zone. High and short. And that time Taylor was trying to make the fair catch. It was contact. Nope. Now, now a flag is going to come down. Yeah, he got hit by Gallon. Gallon was coming down in punt coverage and we'll take another look at it. Blaze Taylor was clearly waving for the fair catch, and Iron Ironhead just couldn't get out of his way. Now the only thing they to look at there is did number 44 Jalen Jones push Gallon into there? I don't interference. The defender was walked into the receiver. First down. Now, Blake Anderson doesn't like that. Best starting field position of the night, though, for Arkansas State. So if there's some sauce for Coach Anderson, that's it. Handoff along the right side to White. More room again as he gets inside the 35, down about the 32-yard line. 18 more yards for White. They're getting big chunks out there on the outside. Again, flanking Hanson. Again, the same play along the right side, and he's got an alley. And he's got blockers in front of him. Inside the 15, inside the 10-yard line, down to the 8. 23 yards on the last two runs. First and goal from the 7-yard line. Why not do it again? White, this time, cuts it back inside. Gets about 2 or 3 at him. Because he wants to go fast. Johnson looking to cut it back. Can't get anything out of it. Joshua Moon coming up from his safety position to make the stop. Finally, their next best option, Dijon Pascal, six foot one at the top of your screen there if they want to put it up. Hanson keeping it and only gets a couple of more, so it'll be fourth and goal with the field goal. 19-yard attempt. And we have a whistle. Good. Uh, Sawyer Williams set the kickoff for Arkansas State after the Red Wolves got on the board. Malik Henry and L.A. Ramsby back to return. It's going to be Malik Henry from his own one. Banged out of bounds that time at the 23. Cody Brown with the stop. Different formation structurally, right? Bring an extra guy down the line of scrimmage. You saw UL Monroe bring six guys up on the line of scrimmage. Joe Coff and D. Coordinator said, no, we're going to play our base 4-2-5. We're going to play too high there and just run around and make tackles. First charge timeout, Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern comes out after the end this of the This will be quarter. a 30-second timeout. Calls the timeout. One thing to know, too, with Georgia Southern. Kevin Ellison still taking all. The hip starts to get activated. Maybe that's the reason we haven't seen him so far tonight. Elbow hasn't affected Ellison's dance moves as he's in there having fun. The fake handoff inside the option over to the left. He's got fields with him, but Ellison's going to keep it. He's going to pick up a first down. in the backfield with Ellison after picking up the first down on the first play of this drive now scrimmaging from their own 36 Brita keeping it inside and turns out maybe two and, and you know Chris everyone's wondering what's wrong with Matt Breed well a couple things first of all he averages 7.7 .7 for his career and he's had all kinds of long runs over 3300 yards in total and 35 touchdowns he's amassed Ellison back to pass on the play action. Finds his man in midfield, joggled, juggled, but held on to that time by B.J. Johnson. Five going really their first extended drive of the game. Ellison back to pass again. Going down the right side, connects with his man, Monte Crockett. He gets out of bounds after picking up another first down, using the pass this time. Left. Used to doing that, you can't get back in the game, so I think that's also a play. Ellison giving it to Breed in the middle, struggling to find any type of running room, maybe picks up a yard. Not coming up with him. Ellison back to pass again, wide open along the left side. Miles Campbell with the catch, and he's going to be right at the sticks. Looks like he's going to pick up yet another. So what does this offense do? Start putting the ball in the air, moving the chains. Wesley Fields in the backfield with Ellison. Hand off to Fields up the middle. Squirts his way free. Gains about 6'7". 
Xavier Woodson Luster with the tackle on the air, Chris. They got to find a way to get a hand on it and turn it back over to their offense. Ellison on the option on the right side. He's going to keep it spin inside. Gets hammered at the 15 yard line. They may give him forward progress inside the 15, but it is going to bring up this drive. So he's really picked up his passing game, although the Eagles are 0 for 4 on third down in this game. Going to try and break that one right here. The option right. Pitch to Fields, and he doesn't look like he's going to get it. He's not. He's not even going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Young Way Koo on the attempt to field goal for Georgia Southern. 33 yard attempt. Koo buries it. Georgia Southern extends their lead now. 10 3 over Arkansas State. A tough break for Murray in Arkansas State as Tyler Bass kicks off. Back to return, Daryl Rollins Davis runs into his own man, Kendall Sanders. Sanders actually ended up re receiving the offense going. They had 95 yards rushing in the first quarter. Georgia Southern only allows just under 78 yards rushing a game. So they've really been able to pick it up. Johnston White now in the backfield with Justin Hansen. Justice Hansen, see what they can do. White with the carry, and he's not going to go anywhere. Still a road. Secured that game. Nice tackle there. Hanson finds his man open over the middle. Kendall Sanders maybe atoning a little bit for that kick return. Gets the first down. Absolute nightmare on a defense. Your eyes say run. You come up on it. The wide receiver comes behind. Excellent play. Handoff now to White along the left side. Finds a little bit of room. He'll get four yards. De La Rosa again going sideline to sideline for Georgia Southern with the stop. Empty backfield now, four wide outs. Really spreading the field wide here is Arkansas State. Flag down, and we have a timeout. Prior to the snap, first charge timeout, Arkansas State. This will be a full. I don't feel like October soon enough. Ask Quinn Kesnick. He'll be out there <laughs> in a gloves and a toque, full on parka soon enough. Hanson with the handoff along the left side to Johnston White. He's been running hard all night long. Picks up another first down. Nice little shot there. Good job. You got to break some tackles. Hanson back to pass. Scrambles. He's got some room, but he's going to take off. Trying to find the sideline, and he gets there after picking up. Running, picking up yards. Nice job there, first down. And they're trying to go tempo now. They're picking up some first downs. Juan with the carry. Finds some room up in the middle. Cuts it back to the right. Weaving his way down about 10 yards. Kind of the same thing with Warren Juan. Five foot five. So good in open space. Low there. center of gravity. Yep. Very powerful lower body. Juan keeps it along the right side. Looking for that first down. Can't quite get it, though. He has to step out of bounds. No gain on the play. It'll bring him a big third down. Him a run pass option here. Wand in the backfield with him. Voitek's just going to keep it along the right side. He's going to pick up the first down. Identity a little more with the running quarterback, but Blake Anderson told us the ceiling of Justice Hansen is just higher, but we'll see. Offside more of defense number 27. Five yard penalty results in a first down. Didn't see the flag. Warren Wand in the backfield now is. Justice Hansen back in there at quarterback for the Red Wolves. Wand along the right side. More yardage. He's going to pick up eight yards. Bernard Dawson again with the stop, but downfield. Quick Kesnick. Four years, and he was able to recruit and put together those pieces. This time Hansen keeps it on the mesh point after faking to Wand, and he picks up another first down. Big chunks of yardage that time. It's really worked well for Arkansas State. Warren Juan now split wide left out of the backfield. Five wides. Hanson looking his way and finds him. Makes the catch, had a knee down though, but still picks up five, six yards. Hanson's working on closing that gap right now, although he hands it to Johnston. And Johnston White. These running backs are just dashing. They're Getting those blocks on the cornerbacks and the safety there. That's what's giving those running backs an extra few yards. Wojtek now with two backs. This is the first time we've seen this look. Wojtek back in the graduate transfer from Pitt. Hands off that time. And 
Darrell Rollins Davis picks up about five, six. This is where he can be dangerous down here in this red zone. Floyd to keeping it. He's got blockers in front of him, but can he find a crease? Cannot. Maybe picks up a yard. One-on-one -on -one matchup. Dijon Pascal down the bottom. This drive started at their own three-yard line, so the Red Wolves have taken it all the way down the field. 11 rushes and 13 plays. Hanson back to pass. Going over the middle. Great catch that time. Touchdown by Justin McGinnis. Oh, the big wideout went up and got it. Six foot six, Chris. I'd throw to that guy too. And what an excellent job. This is a Sports Center highlight right here. Goes all the way up into the atmosphere and pulls this ball down and is able to get the right foot in just as he's going out. Completes the catch all the way through. Yeah, that's a quarterback's best friend right there. Six six. And J.D. Houston on for the extra point to tie this one up for the Red Wolves. Ninety-seven yard drive, culminating in the big fella, Justin McGinnis, pulling it in the, uh, on the defensive line. Timmy Williams at linebacker, just just a lot of speed. Since that Ole Miss game last year, it's been uh, almost perfection for Alabama. Arkansas State, long touchdown drive, tying this thing up, and it'll be a touchback for Georgia Southern. They'll take over. on All those things go wrong for them and still put together a nice drive like that. The Red Wolves are here coming to play. Let's see what Georgia Southern can do on their drive here. Three and a half minutes left to go. Of ranked teams in action, Trevor Maddich in studio is going to break down some film and also today the 20-year anniversary of Lee Corso's first headgear. Chris. Oh, wow, looking forward to that as Ellison goes downfield, finds his receiver, the big B.J. Johnson, for a first down. Here comes... And this team is worried about getting back to campus uh, tonight. Uh, they're scheduled to land in Savannah about 4 a.m., but some roads are shut down, so there's speculation that they might not, might not make it back to school for Thursday. Yeah, thanks for that, Quint. Uh, obviously, every game, so it's going to affect some of these games this weekend. Matt Breida now in at tailback for Georgia Southern. Second down and seven. Ellison taken in the air in this drive with some success. Looking for Johnson, and he finds him at the 30-yard line. Great job by Johnson to keep his toes in bounds. To make plays when it's one-on-one -on -one coverage downfield. We're going to get moving for Georgia Southern. This is going to back Full him up start. five yards. Offense, one. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Ellison has completed six passes in a row now. He's starting to find his form. Again, looking to pass. Can't quite connect with his man. That was at the top of your screen. Second and long now is Ellison is going to keep it, and he's get he's going to get met behind the line of scrimmage. He doesn't even make. Go Georgia Southern going to have to put the ball in the air here. Ellison steps up, throws into double coverage, can't hook up with his man. Looking for B.J. Johnson down the left side, covered very well. He nails it. Here's Tyler Bass to kick off for Georgia Southern. And Daryl Rollins Davis will field it, take a knee in the end zone for the Red Wolves. They'll bring it out at the 20. Secondary, probably the weak spot on this team. I'd like to see Arkansas State take a shot. The hand off to Warren Wand along the left side. Looking for room. He can't find any. Maybe picks up a yard, stays inbound. He's certainly going to take their time and take this thing to halftime. Looks like both teams three. might be content. Warren Wand up the middle. He's going to get banged down. No gain on the play. Maybe a half yard. Georgia Southern called timeout. Hmm? Justice Hansen just letting that play clock wind down. Again, the hand to Warren Wand in the middle. Bounces it outside. Tripped up at the 29-yard line. 
as the end of the first half. And that's going to do it. Georgia Southern, 13 to 10 lead over Arkansas State at the half. And send it back to Bristol for the Lexus halftime report with Doug Kazarian and Trevor Maddich. Foyne toss and deferred, so Malik Henry is back deep for the Eagles. As is L.A. Ramsby. Henry will take it at the seven-yard line. Slips and falls. He'll get it down to just about the 20. Let's send it down to Quint Kesnick. Quint, what do you got? That's the key, but Quinn is right. This is a running team. They got to make that first guy miss. A little confusion in the backfield, and Ellison keeps it. He's able to pick up maybe. A, we have not seen Fabian Upshaw at all. And Ellison came in with the bum elbow, that left elbow, non-throwing elbow. You see it's wrapped up, but he's gone the distance. Out to the outside this time, and Wesley Fields. Pick up maybe four yards before Bo Centimore brings him down. A little bit of a third and five. Breed in the backfield. Third and five. Ellison back to pass. He finds Johnson, and Johnson picks up a first down. Actually, that's Miles Campbell with the reception. That'll be a seven-yard gain and a first down. Campbell in motion. Ellison with the fake. Keeps it. Out to Breed, who came out of the backfield. That's where they can convert. Got to get chunk yards plays on the first down. Again, Campbell in motion. This time, Brita inside, dances through the hole and picks up another first down. It's about a seven-yard gain there. As he can go a long way. Another first down for Georgia Southern. Ellison back to pass, fires near side, has his man that time complete. On the year, he has a couple on this drive alone. Ellison looks at Fields, fakes to him out of the backfield. Hits his receiver underneath. That time it was Monte Crockett. So finding different receivers as well. Nice little being with his center back in the gun. Wesley Fields in the backfield with him. Gives it to Fields inside. He squirts his way through the hole. And it looks like he's going to have enough for the first down. And it's the near side lines, but he's got it. Yeah, it looked like it's for progress. About the first, and yes, they will move the chains. Third down conversions now, too. Something they didn't do in the first half. Fields again in the backfield. Fake to him. Ellison will throw downfield. Nobody there except the umpire. For completions for Ellison, so they have gone through the air, that is for sure. And we have not seen Fabian Upshaw all night long. Campbell in motion. Takes it on the end around. Does he have enough speed to get to the outside? He does and picks up the first down. Really person here putting the ball into the air some jet sweeps some dives some quarterback keeps is a lot to think about for a defense First time we've seen that player in motion taking the handoff this time. It's fields up the middle. He'll gain two Justin Clifton with the stop Justin Clifton having to sit out the first half of this game because of a targeting call in a run game but also in the in the coverage game at that nickel spot Ellison now on the option, left side, keeps it. He has some room, gets a block on the perimeter as well, and he's going to get close to another first down. And Justin here, wonder if he may be a factor if they just plunge that ball up the middle. They've been able to convert two other third ones on this drive. Can they make it three? They bring Ramsey out of the backfield in motion. Ellison keeps it, starts right, moves left. He's got enough room for the first down, getting it inside the red zone. Cody Brown with the tackle, but they're tackling this quarter. Here we see him down on the sideline. He not getting his helmet. He's still got that headset on. He's got a situation with his hip. Ellison back to pass. Complete inside the 10 yard line to Monte Crockett. He is on target right now. That route and it looks like Tyson Summers is going to put Ramsey now. Ramsey back in the shotgun too. Brita in motion. Ramsey's going to keep on the left side and he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Second and goal. Mixing in some runs. The 16th play of this drive to open the second half, and they have chewed up some clock as well. Ellison on the option, left side, keeps it, and he gets hammered right there at about the seven yard line. Kyle Wilson. Met Ellison with a bad attitude. Is in the gun. Chris, he may be the more dangerous runner 
at the quarterback position. When healthy, he's got the hip injury. He's looking to throw here, and he gets it down to about the two-yard line. Incomplete is the call. So the field goal unit comes on. And we have a whistle. It's good. Young Way Koo gives Georgia Southern a six point lead. Ways, a win for Arkansas State. We shall see. Arkansas State will take over on ESPN to watch ESPN app. Arkansas State scrimmages from their own 25. Boy, I tell you what, Justice Hansen didn't waste any time right there. And man was not open, though. Tried to hit Omar Bayless. Christian Matthew was right on it. And I love the play design there. That's one. Get it to the wide receiver. Good job on defense by Georgia Southern. Warren Juan now out of the backfield. Split wide to the top of your screen. Hansen back to pass again. Over the middle. This time finds his man, Sterling Stowers, who makes the catch for a first down. Good job by the offensive line. Gone to completion. Now tempo for Arkansas State. Hands into Juan along the outside. He, that play gets blown up. Juan still on his feet, but he's in a lot of trouble. Ironhead Gallon just blew that play up before real. Again, empty backfield. Juan split out. They will split their running backs out as receivers. Hansen scrambling, looking downfield. Keeping the ball, turns the corner. Actually, got a positive. Make some guys miss. I'd like to see them go back to that, getting the ball to that A-back spot. Well, here is Justice Hansen now in a third and 14. Gets it short to Juan, but he's not going to be able to get away from the defender. Really nice job that time by Ukemi Oligwe. Monte yeah. Crockett back in his own 20. Rocket waves everybody off. That one's going to die at about the 15, and that's where the Eagles will take goals. And back in at quarterback. Breida takes the handoff inside, skirts through, gets an opening, and stays on his feet. That's a tough run by Breida, and he's still churning him up, and he gets about 20 yards on the carry, 19 to be exact. I told you, Chris, he was close. You keep seeing it. Finally just chipping away at those inside runs, breaking some tackles. It's about 20 there, and, and it's only going to be a matter of time before he may be able to break the long one. This time they bring the tight end in the block for him. He goes around the left side, maybe three yards off left tackle. Now here comes the run. Ellison back to pass, looks this way, finds his man. That's Miles Campbell. Tries to make a move and does. Gets to the outside, gets a block, and he gets free into Arkansas State Territory. Stays in bounds. Campbell is going to score. <laughs> 63 yards on the catch and run. What a great block he got, and what a great job to stay in bounds. Tyson Summers talked about it at halftime. we got to get our receivers, our running backs, to make some guys miss. Good job in the open field there. And then you see the speed on down the sideline. Campbell takes it all the way in the house for six. I may have used the term great block a little bit liberally when I was talking about Johnson. Just coming back and maybe getting in the way, but just doing enough. Yeah, I think that was a little more of, of, of B button there, right? <laughs> if, you're, if you're playing those college football games on the video game there. It's a big score for Georgia Southern. And, and they've clearly won this third quarter. Time of possession and scoreboard. Daryl Rollins Davis will take a knee. Justin Hansen fakes it, keeps himself over the middle, finding his man that time. Blake Mack, the big tight end. And he's going to get about 20 yards. Quinn Kesnick 
Down on the field. What do you got for us, Ken? Yeah, when, when Hanson's given a clean pocket, he threw for five-rated quarterback in the country, according to ESPN. Uh, Oklahoma transfer through Butler Community College. Now he's here. Now he's here. He's going to sling it around the yard here for the rest of this game to bring Arkansas State back. Going deep that time for Omar Bayless. Can't hook up with him. Two. Man, you get allowed to get a little. I'm a defensive a guy. Over Come here on, next to me, right? <laughs> Handful of jersey. Sorry, right. he hurt that it's not guy. Not a penalty if, if the flag isn't thrown. <laughs> is what you're telling me, right? Yeah, I'd let that receiver earn it. <laughs> the second and ten now for Arkansas State. Juan switching from the left side to the right side. He's going to get the ball. Come to the left side. He's got some room. He's got a wide open grass in front of him. Stays on his feet at the twenty. Juan will score. 55 yards for the score to get the Red Wolves right back into it. And what did Buster Faulkner tell us yesterday? He said 90% of the time Warren Juan makes the first guy miss. Well, he made about three or four guys miss on that play. Simple zone, stretch play to the outside, some good block, and then it's just the vision there by Warren Juan. A little bit of fancy foot with their work, breaking some tackles. Ironhead Gallon missing the tackle there. And Christian Matthew couldn't run him down. Extra point is good. Started off eight straight wins and won the Sun Belt. They're looking for a similar start here tonight, and it's looking pretty good so far. Malik Henry now on the return. Takes it at his own two. Flag down. Malik Henry dragged down at the 15. Big pile of laundry there at the 20. During the return, holding, receiving team number 12. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Ellison back in the gun. Rita next to him. Quick pitch to the left side. Rita trying to get outside. Bounces it. Maybe picks up a yard. Out sensing this is a big time defensive stand for Arkansas State if they can get it done. Hand off to Ramsby inside. Tries to pull his way and can't get much. Maybe a yard or two. On 10 as the clock winds down in the third quarter. Ellison has dropped. Pressure here. Six black jerseys to the punting team's left side there. Flynn gets it off. Cameron Knuckles Looper awaiting it, and that's a good punt. That is a really good punt. Looper can't field it, and the ball is loose. Georgia Southern has recovered. Seven before tonight. That makes 11 in less than five games for Arkansas State. And Georgia Southern is back in business. Ellison fakes the handoff, keeps it along the right side. Pursuit forced him out of bounds. He'll lose three. His defense has been exceptional, except for a few. Arkansas State 28. Play fake. Over the middle. Nice little pitch and catch that time to Johnson. Boy, that was a beautiful pass by Kevin Southern. Wesley Fields in the backfield with Ellison. Ellison keeps it up the middle. He's got an alley. Bowls his way and carries defenders down to the three. And Ellison is still down. Let's keep a close eye on this situation as we see Ellison here with the carry. Got the nice pull block there to find the open. We'll take over with Georgia Southern now on the Arkansas State 2. Facing second and one. Wesley Fields takes the handoff. Can't break free as he maybe picks up a yard. Xavier, Xavier Woodson must have again on the hit. Going. And, and Upshaw must be hurt, Chris, because they're very reluctant to let him run here. So it's been, every time he's been in, it's been a pass or a handoff. So now it's going to be Ramsby from this Wildcat kind of look. Ramsby fakes the handoff, keeps it, and he's not going to get anywhere. He runs out. And Ku nails it. To extend Georgia Southern's lead, 26-17 right now, early in the fourth quarter. Red Wolves, how will they respond?
lights out for Arkansas State. Offense, when they hold on to the ball, is doing a good job, but it's been the four turnovers, three on offense, and then we just saw the turnover there on the punt team as well. Yep. It's keeping them in this game, even with all the self-inflicted mistakes, they're still just nine points down. He's got to have a good drive. Fake to Warren Juan, over the top. Right in the waiting arms of Christian Matthew. Come on, keep keep this thing closer. Give us a chance. We're playing our tails off out here. And we'll have a whistle here, a flag. We're probably going to have a substitution violation for Georgia Southern. Looks like they had a player come off the bench late. Substitution infraction. Offense number 82. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Georgia Southern hasn't turned the ball over, but they. Georgia Southern puts that ball in the air. Got to get a hand on it. Get a tip ball. Get an interception. Try to get some life back on the sideline. We saw Blake Anderson having a word or two with Justice Hanson, his young quarterback. Now for Georgia Southern. Ellison back there. That's good news for Georgia Southern fans that Ellison is back in the shotgun. Handing off that time to Matt Rita. Short gain and bring up about. Ellison has had to come to the sideline on a couple of different occasions for bumps and bruises, but he's in there now chucking it, overthrows his receiver, Miles Campbell. And defensively, I like it, Chris. They went up and charged all stay. I think about bringing some pressure. Ellison has L.A. Rams be in the backfield with him. Downfield, tipped up in the air and incomplete. That was almost exactly what you said, Arkansas. <laughs> Might have made the decision to go with a safer Blaze Taylor. Matt Flynn with the punt. And Blaze Taylor just lets it go. Smart, yeah. Sells with turnovers, and Justice Hansen back now at the quarterback spot, handing it off to Warren Wand around the right side, and he has some room. Makes a couple of moves and continues going. Look at that move right there at the 30 to stay on his feet. <laughs> Down to the 33-yard line, and he may have put the ball on the carpet. Ironhead Gallon was in on the tackle and maybe stripped the football. Let's see how the officials are going to... 5 foot 5 such a low center of gravity. Fortunate to hang on, on to the football, yeah. though, after that 22-yard run. He gets it again, and he gets room again. This time it's Johnston White. All the way into Georgia Southern Territory. Let's go on a quick Kesnick right now on the sideline. What was a big spark. Juan provided a, a good, good, good burst of energy for this group. And now White is picking up yards in chunks. He makes a move and gets to the 35-yard line before Monquavian Brinson brings him down. Here. Hanson with the handoff. A huge hole for Johnson White. Penalty flag down. Holding offense number seven, 10 yards from the end of the run, still first down. It's Maline coming into this game. I thought they've done a very good job tonight occupying those defenders and getting to that second level. Rollins Davis now, the speedster along the right side, picks his way for about three yards before Chris De La Rosa tackles. And you just noticed in that offensive line, watch them on tape all week and they would cancel. Hand off to Rollins Davis, and he has an opening, and that's a really good tackle right there. Right back at the run game, and they are relentless right now. Johnston White with another carry, picking up six yards. In those creases and then hitting them. Five yards here, six yards there. White change a good thing. White with the carry, he's going to drag a defender. Offense, number 74. Ten yards from the previous spot. Replay, second down. Well, after zero penalties against Arkansas yep. State for the entire... Holder tested out there a bit. Second down and 14 now for Arkansas State as they try and keep this drive alive. Free play. Looks like it might be to Mac on the right side. Couldn't quite get a block, but he gets a big chunk of that yard. Yardage back. back. That may be, end up being a free play. And we have another second penalty was two. There are two fouls on the play. Offsides, defense number 34. Illegal block in the back. Offense number seven. Those fouls offset. Replay, second down. And second down and 14. Juan with the handoff. Lots of room to roam in the middle. 
He'll pick up about 10 yards. Never pursuing great vision, great cutting there. He's by getting Juan. close to 150 yards on the game, and he gets it again this time on the right side. Maybe picks up a yard. This is going to bring up a big third down. One earlier from 19 yards. It is good. So our Brett, Alabama out. They're too fast. Maybe get those guys down on the phone both and, and see if you can <laughs> pound away at them a bit. Saturday night on ESPN. We got a good one shaping up here for the rest of the fourth quarter. Malik Henry taking it back outside the 25, about the 27-yard line. That's where Georgia Southern will take over. Leading by six, 27 left to go in this one. Georgia Southern, as we saw in that third quarter, certainly has the capability to run that entire clock down if they can get this thing going on the option. Fields with the inside carry, maybe gets a yard that time. Xavier Woodson-Luster has been all over the place tonight. Here they are again in second and ten. Again, inside hand off to Wesley Field. You don't try to take a deep shot here, but you can still put the ball in the air. Rita in motion, Ellison to throw. Looking for Johnson, can't hit him. Looks like we have a flag down. Ball was behind Johnson. Hume's on the coverage. Let's see what the flag is all about. Ineligible man downfield. Offense number 71. That penalty is declined. Made a bad decision. See what happens. Flynn punting from his own 15. The bouncing punt, and Blaze Taylor does field it. That was a bit dangerous as well, but he probably saved a lot of yards by fielding it there at the 34-yard line. 17, 115 yards, the one touchdown and two picks on the day. The handoff to Johnston White, and they've been running the ball so effectively, Hanson hasn't had to put the ball. They're going to get this thing done. It's going to have to be in the run game. And as we say that, Hanson now back to pass. Keeps it himself, finds a little bit of room up the middle, then breaks it to the outside. Trying to make moves downfield, he did enough to pick up a big chunk of yards down to the 37-yard line. Well, Jesse Liptrup finally brought him down. Good decision, something we haven't seen much out of yet yeah. on that play. Trying to go quickly. White again with the carry, this time stuffed at the line of scrimmage. He may even lose a yard. The lead way with the stop. There with a team that's running the ball well. It is a relatively hot and humid night. Warren Vaughn split out. Now five receivers. Empty backfield for Hanson. Nice little pitch right that time to his tight end. Justin McGinnis, rather, the big fellow caught the touchdown pass earlier in the game with the catch. And Jesse Liptrot right now down for Georgia Southern. Justin McGinnis just seems like a folk hero on that Arkansas State <laughs> sideline. First the touchdown catch, and then he delivers this blow rather than taking it. He's got the oh, just underneath the chin there, lip trot. Down here for Justice Hansen in Arkansas State. 337 left to go on this one. They trail by six. High snap. And Hanson's just going to have to now make something happen, and he can't. Boy, that is a devastating play right there on third down. Again, self-inflicted. From the 34-yard line, it's fourth and six. Lon split out at the top of the screen, and Hanson back to pass. Completes the pass. Now, is it enough for the first down? It's really close. Kendall Sanders makes the reception. And he might have come up just a little bit. The, the downs they've converted into first downs, they've gotten some yardage on first to keep those chains moving. L.A. Rams be the bigger of the three backs now in, but Ellison keeps it himself, and he's got nowhere to go. Kyle Wilson again. He's been all over the place tonight. Kevin Ellison at the controls, third and second and 15. The handoff to Ramsby in the middle. Rams his way for maybe two yards. Another timeout for Arkansas State. Second charge timeout of the half. Arkansas State. 25. They need to come up big here. Third down for Georgia Southern. Can the Wolves get the ball back? Wesley Fields in the backfield with Ellison. Ellison keeps it around the left side. Contained easily and brought down. 
Another loss on the play. Arkansas State uses their third and final timeout. Third and final timeout. Spiral, Taylor signals for a fair catch and makes it at his own 30. That's where Arkansas State will start off. 2.41 left to go. It's a strategy here for, and he can make them all academic if he could lead his team down to a, a, a game tying or winning score here. Back to pass, rolls out to his right, gets flushed. Might have forced that one. Down with the shoulder, so some of his options are limited. Warren Wand in the backfield with him. Juan gets the carry on the outside. Great play that time by number 94, Trey Griffin. And that's what they haven't had all night, is, is any penetration defensively to stop the run game. But in a critical situation, they get one huge negative yardage play. Nice job slicing right in there by Trey, Trey Griffin. So six-yard loss, third and 16 now, Hanson. Scrambling, trying to find some time. Running out of it. Can't get it to his receiver that time. Logan Hunt forcing the pressure. Hanson was running for his life. Now the clock has stopped with 2.04, but it brings up a four. Six foot six, McKinnis. Hanson, is he gonna try and run for it? He is, he's got a long way to go though. Gets to the outside, can he get a block? Looks like he does. He picks up the first down. Wow, what a play. Fourth and 16, and Hansen picked up 18. Nowhere to go with the football, and this is not his strong suit running with the football, but just a great job, determination, breaking a couple tackles, finding a, a way to pick up that first. No time to celebrate. A minute 53 now on the clock. First and 10 from their own 42. Juan with the carry around the right side. Looking for a crease, found it. Gets about five. Forward. Clock ticking, a minute 33 and counting. Juan this time stopped in the backfield. Beautiful play that time. That's a, a situation where you put the ball in the air, but I just, I don't know, the confidence level in Justice Hansen, you don't know. Clock ticking down. Hansen with the pump fake. Finds Mac is tied in. And that's going to be enough for the first down. Rush three new wide receivers onto the field. Clock is rolling. Hanson tried to hit McGinnis that time, could not. 43 seconds left. And that might have been one he should have taken off. He had a lot of room in front of him. He only has one reception on the night. and flushed again. Finds his receiver this time over the middle. That's going to be a first down to G. John Pasco. Maybe not. Ball in the air, 33 seconds. Clock winding. Hanson flushed. Just had to get rid of that one. Or he would have taken a sack. That would have been the absolute worst thing he could have done. Ironhead Gallon again on the pressure. Yeah, Brooke got a little crawl. Hanson looking for the back shoulder, and he's got it! Kendall Sanders makes the catch inside. Clock yeah. stops temporarily for the first down. Okay, they're going to clock it here. And they do. 14 seconds now on the clock. Couldn't find the ball fast enough when he turned around. No timeouts for Arkansas State. Hanson looking to his right. Over the top. Catches made! Touchdown! Omar Bayless! He follows up the last throw with another perfect one toward the back of the end zone. A little bit of separation the there. It's a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Certainly had a plenty of time. Went to the right guy. So if he got that left foot down, that's the key control right the ball. There. With one catch for eight yards on the season, possibly comes up with the biggest catch of the season. 
There's the, yeah, we see the, the catch and then the knee gets down. It looks like the, the foot left. and the yeah. hand came down almost simultaneously. And the issue is going to be is on extra points, including a couple today. And he converts. Taken by Ramsby at the 10 yard line. And he's taken down to the 32. Come to fruition here. Three guys deep for Arkansas State. Ellison trying to buy some time. He's going to be sacked, and that's going to be it. Darius Rosser with the sack, and the Wolves storm the field. And just like that, Chris, all is well in Jonesboro. We're 0-4. Oh, my God. What's going on with our football team? They come out and, and put up a shocker, taking down a very strong Georgia Southern team. Their first conference win is a huge one. Blake Anderson said after the loss to Central Arkansas 11 days ago, we're starting over. <laughs> the conference season starts just like last year.